Hi everyone, Simple Mom. Good morning. Happy Friday and welcome to Motivational Friday and a Get Ready With Me. I'm going to actually just kind of show you guys if you want to know what am I using is the NYX Smooth Skin Perfect Perfecting Primer. So how's everyone doing? And I don't specifically stick to one brand of cosmetics. I use NYC, I use e.l.f., I use L'Oreal, like, I use a little bit of all of them, e.l.f., Milan, so it all depends, like, what I want that day, as far as my look goes, but I am loving this primer right now, for sure. It helps with my pores and everything else. So, if you guys have been following me for the past 50 days, <laughs> it is um, my day 50 of the Fit to Love 100 challenge, of the 10K Step Challenge, and my vlogging. Um, I am having a great time with that as far as keeping me accountable and something for me to look over you know, look forward to, I should say. Um, I'm using the L'Oreal Cushion. I am in love with this foundation. I don't like high coverage. I just like something simple, but I don't like my face to look all crazy. So this for me, I love the coverage that this has to offer. So going back to the 50 day challenge, you know, I'm a busy mom. You know, I work full time, got the kids, the house, the dog, my mom. You know, I like to be in my nieces and nephews' lives. So, I mean, we have a lot going on. And <clears throat> the key, and I, I, as I was exercising this morning, I'm saying to myself, you know, how? How did you pull this off? Because last night, um, she's so cute. Um, one of the girls, Meredith, said to me, you know, how do you do it? You know, how do you sit here and have this time to pull, you know, all this off? And she's so sweet. To me, I don't see it as something like, oh my God, you know, I'm doing something so huge or big or anything on that line because this is my life. You know, this is what I do and I don't see it no other way. But one thing that I do do is I go at my own pace. You know, um, I don't let my heart beat at no one else's pace, you know, and that is huge, guys. You have to take on your journey with just, you know, what you are able to do. You know, not your neighbors, not your friend, not no one. This is your journey, and this has to go at your own pace. And you know what? And I take that to every aspect of my life. Um, at work, I'm the same way. At home, I'm the same way. Like, I don't function at no one else's beat. You know what I mean? Like, this is my journey. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to find my powder. Ah. Bear with me. I forgot my powder brush. But anyway, like I was saying, I don't go at no one's beat, you know. I sit there and I take life how I'm able to handle it, you know. And you, have to, you have to go at your own pace because the minute that you stop and you reroute your thoughts or actions to please someone else, you will not be successful. 
um, because that's not, you know, that's not your beat. That's not what, you know, how you go about things. And you know what? And that's completely okay. Completely, completely okay. You know, when you sit there and you say to yourself, nope, I'm going to do this like this because... You know, this is how I feel most comfortable. And you know what? And if you stick to it, you will be successful. Because, you know, I have friends that tell me, oh, you know, you should come. And you should come work out at night with us. So you have someone doing something with you. And, you know, you're not doing this alone. And as much as, you know, I would love to... You know, go have, you know, go work out with friends and all that is not what works for me and my pace and what I'm doing in my life right now. You know, I'm a mom and I have the twins that are seven that once I come home, they want my time. Like they, they want mommy, you know, I work full time. So when I come home, you know, it's about them. You know what I mean? So it's like, I can't, I don't have the luxury of, you know, being able to go in the afternoons and go work out, you know, I just don't have it. And I'm completely okay with that, you know. Um, I don't let that get discouraged. I'm just grateful that I'm able to fit it in when I'm able to fit it in, you know, and that's what works for me. At my job, the same thing. I don't work on no one's pace, you know. Um, I kind of manage an office, an insurance agency, and I'm like the office manager. And things roll when I say they roll. Otherwise, they don't roll. Because that's just the way it is. Like, I'm tired of tweaking. You know, I did that for many years. Feeling anxiety. And, oh, my God, I have to do this. And, oh, my God, I have to do that. Um, just to stay somewhat with somebody else's beat. And I'm in a point in my life that, mm-mm. I go on my beat, and if you don't like it, oh, well. you know, um, of course, there's, you know, there's certain things that you have to get done, you know, and that you have to do, which is fine, um, but there's others that, you know, you can definitely take your time, so take your time, and if you have to say no, say no, and if they get mad, oh, well, you know, you have to do this for you, in order for you to succeed in this journey as far as weight loss and everything else you have to be a little selfish and be completely okay with it and just shrug your shoulders and be like this is what i need to do so i'm able to survive and be successful in this because if you're not please believe me when i tell you it will be a disaster um it's bad enough that this journey no one can come and hold our hands and be like come on you know and i've said this before let's go it's time to work out or you know, you shouldn't eat that entire cookie or have, you know, four slices of pizza. Um, this is something that, you know, has to come from you. And when you're full control of the situation, as far as, you know, how everything goes, when you eat, um, when you do everything, you know what I mean? Like with yourself, be, con be fully control of everything that you have going on around you. It is your choice. Um, and if you want to be successful, then that's what you have to do. You know, I've been doing this for a long time, guys. You know, I've been on my own since I was 16 years old. Literally, on my own. Um, and I'm going to be, God willing, 38 this year in May. And it hasn't been easy, but this is my life, you know, and... You can't go at nobody else's beat, and I can't stress that enough, you know. Um, and I did for a long time, you know, because I always thought that, oh, my God, I have to, you know, make sure that everyone's pleased and and everything else. And where did that land me? Over 300 pounds, unhealthy, unhappy, um, you name it, I went through it. Um, and I just, I vowed to myself that it just wasn't going to happen no more. Nope. Not at all. So, um, you know, this weekend, take control back.
you know, of your life. In every aspect, you know, at work, at home, your surroundings, your friends, because believe it or not, you know, at the end of the day, no one's there for you, but you. And I know that it sounds harsh for me to say it that way, but it's so true, guys. Like, you know, it is what it is. And no matter how we try, to sometimes wish that someone can come and kind of like, you know, fix or do what we need to do, no one can. It's our journey. So we got to take full control over it. But be wise about it, you know. Don't limit yourself to, like, oh, my God, you know, I feel so overwhelmed because I'm not keeping up, you know, as they say with the Jones or whatnot. Because you can't. And, you know, and it's led me to be, you know, what somewhat successful because I go on my own beat. And, you know, some people may say, oh, you know, she comes a little, you know, stuck up or whatever the case may be. That don't faze me because no one has to do or live what I have to endure, you know. And when you have full control, you feel good because you know that what you're doing, it's, you know, it's what you're supposed to be doing. So it is what it is. So I hope that helps, you know. You have to go at your own beat. And um, and whoever don't like it, oh well. But you need to regain that peace back in your life and say, you know what? It's okay. I got this. And once you reassure yourself that you got this and you don't need no one's approval or no one to dictate how fast or how slow you have to do something and you go at your own pace everything will definitely make more sense you know um and that's what helps me you know i literally go at my own beat um and whoever likes it fine and whoever doesn't oh well they'll just have to deal with it you know um and that's life, guys. And that's what helps me, you know, stay accountable. Definitely. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for getting ready with me. Something quick and simple. Um, but ready to rock out this Friday. Ooh, ooh. And let that be that. So I challenge you this weekend. Regroup. Take a deep breath. And go at your own pace. And whoever don't like it, oh, well. Hope everyone has a blessed day. Talk to you later. Stay positive. Bye.